and welcome back to my channel. So today we have to talk about a very important topic in my opinion. Um, I think I mentioned it a couple times here and there, um, but I recently got a comment again that reminded me that there was still something that I wanted to talk to you about. So first of all, I got my beautiful Bulgari um, vertical top handle back with me today and I actually found this really nice spot right here underneath the sky garden. Um, I wanted to take you up there and because usually they do accept walk-ins even though you don't have tickets like you don't need a ticket necessarily especially like if it's in January February unfortunately they're closed for maintenance today otherwise we would have had the beautiful view across London um, maybe I take you there next time okay so today I want to talk to you about the reoccurring theme on my channel that I never ever buy anything and I mean, if you have seen my <laughs> hate comment videos, one, two, three, four, <laughs> then, um, you know, you came across this, let's call it critique that I get. And um, I don't want to talk about it because obviously it's ridiculous, but um, it just, one of my subscribers, because you guys are like little spies, you always see everything and I love it. And like you send me stuff and it's just fantastic. So one of you lovely people sent me this um, screenshot and it was taken from a live stream. Um, and I, you know, it was nothing new for me, but it just reminded me that I think it's very important that we have an open conversation about consumption. Okay guys, I had to change my spot because there were too many pigeons and it was getting a little bit dangerous. I don't want to get anything on my beautiful Unreal fur coat. Um, okay, so we have to talk about consumption because I mean, it's been, like I said, a reoccurring thing that, you know, people complain that I'm never ever buying anything simply because they're used to seeing all the big influencers, you know, unboxing new things every week. But what many people don't consider, obviously, is that, you know, you have to differentiate between huge influencers who get gifted things like on a daily basis. They can show new outfits, new bags every single day on Instagram. I'm not on Instagram, guys, you know that. I, I'm just not an Instagram person. I don't do Instagram. <laughs> Obviously, that's something you need to take into consideration. For me, the most shocking thing, I think, is that it has become the new normal, that people are expecting you to constantly purchase, to constantly consume, to constantly show new products on your channel. And is it the new normal? Should it be the new normal? Like where luxury was consumed as like a treat in the past, you know? I mean, obviously we're not talking about like the super, super rich people. They can consume luxury goods as, you know, we breathe in air. That's a different kind of category. I'm a normal person, guys, so you have to consider that. Um, so I think in the past luxury was like a fine dining experience, you know, something you treated yourself to when you had to celebrate something. Luxury was something you saved up for something you are looking forward to something you developed some butterflies you know for and then you actually went out and made the purchase um, which was well thought out and nowadays it is just like okay so where's the new bag oh you haven't bought anything in three weeks oh my god you know you're never ever buying anything basically that that's the mindset that we're in is that right I mean the cycle of consumption has you know it's like a spinning hamster wheel <laughs> And I think we have to be, we all should be very mindful. And I mean, let's talk about this. Is it reality that we buy a new bag every single week? Can we even use all of the beautiful items that we buy then, you know? I mean, it's, it, it's just madness for me when you think about it. Can I just quickly add that I feel like I'm already consuming too much and I'm buying too many bags. The more I think about it, the weirder it gets because I'm, honestly thinking oh my god I bought another bag oh my god and I bought another bag and with my best friends here on YouTube you guys know that Jacob Jesse and I from Super Jacob and Jesse style we are always trying to talk each other out of purchases <laughs> simply because you know it's getting to a level where it's ridiculous um, and we are buying so so much so I really never understand where people get the idea from that I never buy anything because I myself have like guilt feelings, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh my god, did I really need this? Did I need to buy this? Um, let me know how, how this is for you um, and yeah, that's it. 
rant over. I truly believe that I already own too much, you know? That's why I constantly, you know, give bags to my mom, to my two aunts, <laughs> you know? I always go through my collection and sometimes I get overwhelmed and I'm like, okay, I need to downsize again. Um, you know, some pieces I would obviously never let go of. But obviously we buy things, sometimes we regret things, sometimes they're just not working out for our lifestyle. So I love downsizing and I sold so many bags in my life. I gifted so many bags away, you know, to family, friends, like I said, my aunts, they love them and I know, you know, they have a beautiful new home and I have less and I love having less. If I was to buy a new bag every single week, guys, I would <laughs> end up with 52 bags per year. Is that sustainable? Is that necessary? Can you even wear them? Like to me, the idea is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, guys, for all we know, like these comments could be made by somebody who's like 12, 13 years old, you know, and somebody who doesn't know a lot about finance and adult life. I know most of you are living in reality and <laughs> most of you appreciate my shopping vlogs but I cannot ignore the amount of comments that I get on this topic you know that people are getting tired of seeing my shopping vlogs because I never ever buy anything so I just wanted to throw it out there and see guys do you still enjoy my shopping vlogs? Do you want me to keep doing them? Because obviously, yes, it is window shopping, but do we not laugh? Like looking around, falling in love with a new piece, deciding, like thinking about it carefully before buying it. Definitely let me know what you think about it. Should we not all think more sustainable, purchase things on a more sustainable level and yeah, really think about all the stuff we own. Do we need it? You know, do we need to buy more, 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 more? And it doesn't matter that I'm, you know, showing my, well, the, the handbag side of my life <laughs> on YouTube. Obviously, I have many other commitments in my life, you know, and just as everybody, you know, there are other goals that I have. I just love to share my passion with you guys. And I think we have a wonderful community here. You guys know that. And like for all I know, those comments are made by trolls all the time anyway, because you cannot tell me that it is normal for people to think like, oh yeah, or oh, you haven't bought a new bag in two weeks. Oh my God. Like that's that's really embarrassing for a youtuber <laughs> like what i think we all should be very aware of what we consume how we consume things how often and yeah just be very reasonable with everything we do in life 99 percent of you guys are super supportive and i appreciate you so much i'm so grateful for this wonderful community that we have here um but yeah where is this expectation coming from that's what i want to know where is the expectation coming from that you know you have a social media account you're on youtube you're on instagram you need to constantly buy new things is it because the big influencers are showing like a new bag every single week but like is that real life guys i still want to add something so um obviously when i do my shopping vlogs i am looking out for that one specific you know artistic special unique beautiful bag that I might come across. When I do my shopping vlogs, number one, obviously it is for YouTube to share the bags with you because that is content creation and YouTube is my job. So number two, I do look out for bags that I think I might like. And if I find something, like I said, I have 45 bags now, I need to find something that really swoops me off my feet, <laughs> you know, um, to, to consider buying because I do not buy just for buying. And I think... Nobody should do that, you know. Buy if you really, really love something. And you shouldn't buy just to make content. You won't ever see me just buying to unbox and have content. And then maybe return or resell. I buy what I want to see in my collection long term. You know, I really want to fall in love with a bag. Do the research. Go into the shops, try it on. See it in reality. If I love it, buy it. And even when I, you know, when I see something that I love, I give myself at least two weeks to see. I don't do impulse uh, purchases, you know. I give myself at least two weeks to see if the butterflies are still there. And then if they are still there, I buy it. I just really don't understand that concept. Just buy, 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 just for the sake of buying. I'm a collector. I want to fall in love, find that one special piece that I find once every 10 times I go and do a shopping vlog. You know, that's why I do it. Okay guys, so that was, I think, my little rant. <laughs> um, please share your thoughts with me because I, you know, 
these comments, this attitude, this way of thinking is making me speechless. <laughs> and I need some explanations in the comment section down below. Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little Hendrik Obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and it is a beautiful disease that should be <laughs> consumed mindfully. <laughs> okay guys, yeah, I see you again very, very soon. Bye! And last but not least guys, look at this, the shard here in London. It's quite a cloudy day, it looks really misty and then you have the sun behind this beautiful building. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you again soon.